The Government's Growth State Initiative sets a goal to lift South Australia's economic growth in gross state product to 3% per annum. Food, wine and agribusiness is one of the nine priority sectors identified to achieve this. The Food, Wine and Agribusiness Sector Plan sets an ambitious target to contribute revenue of $23 billion by 2030 to the South Australian economy. This industry is the largest manufacturing sector in our state. It is a key pillar of the South Australian economy and is the only major manufacturing sector in the state to show steady growth in employment and revenue over the past two decades. The Food, Wine and Agribusiness Plan will provide direction and focus for industry and government to achieve growth, help focus on common opportunities, build on existing industry plans and blueprints, show the importance of the sector here and overseas, and seek opportunities for growth and innovation. Six priority areas have been identified to achieve our growth target. Grow productivity increase local processing capacity and improve efficiencies, drive ag tech adoption, enhance research, development, technology and innovation, add value through the supply chain. Examples of current initiatives include the $1.8 million commitment to establish an oat breeding centre of excellence, as well as $1.2 million to develop a Pulses Cooperative Research Centre and the establishment of an AgTech advisory group, demonstration farms and development of an AgTech strategic plan for South Australia. Grow people. Improve business capacity and capability. Support workforce growth and development of skills through fit for purpose training and education. Promote career opportunities. Seen through initiatives like the Food and Wine Industry Growth Programs and the Excite Science and Innovation Strategy to support industry research collaborations and increase research investment and activity. Grow infrastructure. Improve digital connectivity, including cybersecurity and mobile phone coverage. Strengthen supply chains and transport networks. Improve regional infrastructure to support growth. Current initiatives include the State Government's $1.1 billion investment on road infrastructure, allowing safer, more efficient freight movements, and also recycled water projects to drive horticulture expansion in Northern Adelaide Plains and the Barossa and Eden Valley. Grow markets. Develop market opportunities and create new products. Improve market access through strong biosecurity systems, product integrity, traceability and food safety standards. Promote our state and premium products. Like through the Food SA Export Hub to increase the export of South Australian food and beverage products and the creation of a seafood advisory forum to develop a 10-year seafood plan establishing common industry goals and driving growth and innovation. Grow sustainability. Increase sustainable access to limited natural resources encourage increased access and use of recycled resources, protect resources from biosecurity threats and pest animals, implement production and processing techniques that minimize costs and environmental impacts and drive business benefits. Current initiatives include the once in a generation $25 million rebuild of the dog fence and the $24.5 million reform of the marine scale fishery. Grow the operating environment. Nurture collaboration and co-investment. Deliver smart regulation. Minimize business costs and administrative burdens. Examples include the state government's work to modernize our legislative frameworks through a new Biosecurity Act and review of the Pastoral Act, as well as legislative amendments to allow GM food crops to be grown across mainland South Australia in time for 2021 cropping season. The Food, Wine and Agribusiness Sector Plan is jointly owned by partners Primary Producers South Australia, Food South Australia, the South Australian Wine Industry Association and the South Australian Government. We look forward to working with you to harness opportunities to drive future growth. For more information, visit 23billionby2030.com.au